I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite sleek low ponytails. I have been doing this so much recently. It's one of my go-to hairstyles right now because it looks so elegant, but it's so easy and it stays in place all day. So stay tuned because it's a good one. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to tease your crown to add some extra volume and height to your ponytail. This helps a lot in not making it look slick and stuck to your head, especially if you're having a middle part. Sometimes it can look more stuck. It's still gonna be very sleek, but we're just gonna add a little umph to it and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna be using the Redken Powder Grip in the number three. This is one of my favorite products to use while I am teasing here because it gives that teasing something to grip onto. It also helps it stay all day and not slip, especially if you have finer or thin hair. So I'm just going to get this and I'm going to, about two inches away from my hairline, I'm gonna just start in my crown. I do already have a little bit of texture in my hair from just like texture spray and dry shampoo and stuff. So I'm not gonna need that much, but if your hair is clean, you would probably want to use just a little bit more. As you can see, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that powder on, and then I'm gonna take my teasing comb, your best friend right here, and I'm just going to back comb. And my hair likes to do this funny little part down the back. So this really helps to make it all just smooth, you won't have any weird parts for your sleek ponytail, so I highly recommend teasing it. Definitely my best look right here. We're done. I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more, just a little bit closer. I don't want my part to go back quite as far as it is. And then I'm just gonna smooth all of that out so you don't have any ratsness showing through. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit more volume around the side. When you are pulling your hair back into a pony, sometimes this, sometimes this really helps to just keep it all uniform and not lots of volume, super flat. <laughs> okay. I've added my texture into my hair, added some teasing, some umph to the back, and now I'm going to go ahead and put it in a low ponytail. Okay, so I'm going to pull everything to the back. I'm just gonna smooth out anything to make sure there's no funny bumps or pieces sticking up, and then I'm going to pull it towards the nape of my neck, nice and sleek, and I'm gonna secure that with a ponytail. I always like to get mine nice and tight so that if I'm moving or chasing after kids, I'm not gonna have it falling out. So I'd much rather have it tighter than not. And then I'm going to split my ponytail in half. In that top half, I'm gonna put another clear, tiny little elastic in. This will just give my ponytail a little bit more volume. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece from underneath my ponytail. So I'm just gonna grab a small piece and then I'm going to pull it and wrap it around my hair tie to cover up anything that doesn't look beautiful. And then I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm just going to secure that really well. And just to make sure I have it really secure, I always like to put two in there and kind of cross them over each other. And now we're gonna go back to the front. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna add some volume by pulling small little pieces around my crown. It's still gonna be sleek, but it's just gonna add a little bit more volume in the top. So I'm just gonna take it and pull it out just a little bit. Just pulling with a little bit of pressure, not too much because you don't want it to add a funny massive hump that doesn't fit the rest of your hairstyle. So as you can see, it's super simple, but it looks very elegant. I've actually wore this to a couple of weddings recently and got so many compliments on it. So it's very awesome for a nice event or a Christmas party. I highly recommend it. It's so fast and it keeps your hair out of your way the whole event. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know in the comments below if you prefer to wear your hair up or down for a event that you're going to. I personally have started wearing my hair up a lot more just cause it keeps it out of my way and it looks elegant through the whole event. So let me know in the comments and we will try to create more videos for you on that.